Today, the Phillies are playing like it's the 1800s, the Reds are searching for answers, and the AL West is a chaotic battlefield. Let's jump right in. It's time for Touch Em All. Welcome to Touch Em All from Sports Out. I am Scott Colbranson. All right, baseball fans, let's get things kicked off with the Philadelphia Phillies who are on a historic run. The Phillies are living like it's 1892. In the last 35 games, they've gone 29-6, matching their best record in franchise history. The last time they did this, Grover Cleveland was president. What? It's amazing, says Nick Castellanos. This is the best team I've ever been a part of, the outfielder says. Manager Rob Thompson highlights the team's depth as one of the reasons they're doing so well, along with Zach Wheeler, their pitcher extraordinaire, who continues to dominate despite a few hiccups, adding a nasty splitter to his arsenal that's fooling lefties all over. Now, let's head over to Cincinnati, where the Reds are in a tough patch. Injuries, a PED suspension, and a slump in the young hitters' performances have all played a part in their continued struggles. The Reds started strong at 14 and 10, but have plummeted to 19 and 28. Manager David Bell is still optimistic, but the team's playoff odds have dropped from 22.4% to just 6.8%. Bad luck injuries to key players like McLean and Friedel haven't helped. McLean's shoulder and Friedel's thumb injuries are major setback. What about the wild, wild AL West? The Houston Astros are clawing their way back with their powerful offense despite a shaky rotation. The Mariners' rotation is rock solid, but their offense needs a major boost. Meanwhile, the Rangers try to stay afloat amidst injuries and bullpen struggles. How this thing will work out this summer in the AL West is anyone's guess. We'll see who gets some consistency. I'll bet on the Astros. And lastly today, the Oakland, no, 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 the Las Vegas, no, wait, Sacramento A's. They're gearing up for three seasons in a minor league ballpark. The stadium's getting some much needed upgrades, but it's a big adjustment from the majors. Commissioner Rob Manfred assures us that the upgrades will bring, quote, major league quality broadcasts, end quote, to Sacramento. The A's are set to be MLB's vagabond franchise until they get their stadium built in Las Vegas, which, by the way, they haven't fully funded yet. We'll keep an eye on this development over the course of this season. That's going to do it for this week's Touch Em All. Enjoy your baseball weekend, and don't forget, again, Remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Enjoy your Memorial Day weekend and keep them and their families in your thoughts. Until next time, we'll see you on the diamond.